Talk to us about education. Where is this coming from? Where is it going? It's this indoctrination. I blame all of us because I, I sent my daughter to school. My daughter's so much more left wing than I am. She'll wake up one day. She's getting to go <laughs> as she goes along. But I'm looking at this, the education system and Malcolm X, who I don't agree with on some things. He had a different philosophy of life. But darn if he didn't say some, some really true things. He said only a fool would let his enemy teach his children. And the problem is we've been so worried about being nice and getting along that we have not been paying attention to what our children are being taught about right and wrong, about family structure, about who we are, about what we should attain, about our history. We have allowed these extremists with this very totalitarian religion to come in and take over our schools and teach our children self-hatred, other hatred, disrespect for their parents, teach them that young people know more. I noticed this even when my daughter was young, that all of the shows targeting young people always had the young people presented as smarter than their parents. That's so dangerous because you really aren't. Hasn't that always been a strain of American culture, Dina? The, the, the sort of aspirational, we are a young country, a visionary country, looking forward to the future, sloughing off you know, British royalty, having a revolution, paving the way forward with Hollywood and Silicon Valley and, and Wall Street. It feels like there's a certain vigor in at least the, the, the assumption, if, even if it's not true, that uh, the future belongs to the young and, the, and, and old fuddy-duddies should just get out of the way. Well, innovation is one thing. Believing that you're smarter than your, your parents is dangerous because the brain is not really fully formed to the mid-20s. And even then, if it's full of indoctrination, it's going to take you somewhere grim and scary. Um, it, we are an innovative country, but if you look at the television shows and things from like the 1950s, even 1960s, you did not see... She, it presented to young people that they were always smarter than their parents. And television isn't just television. Media isn't just media. When you study the brain, social psychology studies the brain and how we actually interpret information, how we get an idea about the world that we live in. And if you look at the imagery that is presented to young people and has been for the last 20 years, there is no way the culture that we are promoting will allow us to continue to succeed. We are so vulnerable to being conquered by enemies who despise us. We're so vulnerable to just falling apart 